Hi, Dr. Willie here. I am answering another question for Better Than Steroids, an email I got some time ago, and it's actually a condition and a concern I see quite often where I live. I live in a small blue-collar town in southeast Idaho. Love it here. It's God country. There's so much you can do outside. That's why me and my family are here, for one. But there's a lot of industry here, so a lot of shift work. And this question I'm going to read that I got from this wonderful police officer somewhere in the world, I won't tell you where, but uh, it really addresses this and allows me an opportunity to briefly address that with you. So, dear Dr. Willie, from your articles I have and book, I'm hoping you can help or advise me. I work midnights for a major police department. I work from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m., six days a week. I've been working out for over 20 years. I'd like to lose some fat and gain muscle. The question is actually quite simple. When do I eat? Should I eat during the time I work, every three hours, or should I eat when I'm awake during the day, etc.? Currently, I get off at 6 a.m., work out till 7.30 a.m., have a post-exercise meal, go home, and go to sleep. I sleep until 12.15 p.m. I get up, have a bowl of oatmeal. I eat around 5 p.m. with the family, and I am back in bed from 6.15 to 9.15 p.m. when I leave for work. I do this six days straight, have two days off, and do it for six more days. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I like to change things so I can begin to lose weight and get into shape because it's been very difficult to do. My friend, the police officer, and so many people out there that do shift work, it is very difficult to maintain a physique when you're doing that. It's a hormonal thing, almost completely. You see, our hormones are designed on very specific rhythms circadian rhythms being one of those, the 24-hour cycle. We were designed hormonally, physically, mentally, emotionally to get up with the sun and go down with the sun. And that's what our hormones do. If you change that and try to reverse that, our hormones go haywire. It plays great havoc on our body. And there are a number of hormones affected by that. The hungry and satiety hormones, the sex hormones, the adrenal hormones, the thyroid hormones, the brain hormones, it is difficult. So it is a huge answer to that question, what to do about it. So rather than doing that in this short forum, I want to let you shift workers know that you can do something about it. It takes understanding that circadial cycle and how to optimize your sleep-wake cycle around it. In other words, we have to fool your hormones into thinking that you are rising with the sun and going to sleep with the sun. Now we do that with some simple over-the-counter supplements, melatonin being one of them, phenogaba being another, uh, phosphatidylserine for the brain hormones, support for the adrenal hormones, There's and the way you eat. And when you are awake when the sun's up, if you're a normal shift worker like this fine police officer, you eat very differently than when you're working. So I just want to provide that hope and optimism out there for shift workers or night shift workers or whatnot that you can do it. It does take some work, but it is very possible. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, email me. And I've actually been asked a couple times to write more articles, possibly even a small white paper or book on this very topic and give people some direction. So be looking for that in the future as well. Until next time, train with your brain.